Hey everyone, welcome back to Kenshi. This is going to be episode 3 of our Tank Face playthrough. We left off getting some extra armor and weapons, selling off a bunch of loot from uh, fallen bandits. Got an extra piece of gear from a ruin. It's that little sword here on his side. He's looking a little bit more like a warrior. So now it's time to start training up his combat skills. So before we do anything uh, like taking on groups of enemies just on our own, we do need his toughness level to increase pretty dramatically uh, beforehand. So we're going to go ahead and take some hits in battle if we can find some bandits around. And I'm not seeing any right now, so I'm going to go ahead and cut ahead to our fight once we do find some bandits. All right, guys, we did find some starving bandits. They are just headed towards the water here. We're gonna try and pull them up to the city and help the guards fight them to help get some XP. Once again, when you're playing solo and there's no other characters who can revive you, you have to be very careful when you fight groups of enemies so that you don't get knocked out and bleed out. like they are not going to aggro. So I'm going to use this opportunity for some target practice. And I think if you're playing solo characters, it's, there's no there's no reason why you can't cheese the uh, AI was Range combat tactics. It is easy to make a mistake doing this, so don't really recommend it if you're new to the game, but if you've played for a while, this is probably something you're familiar with. It is okay to take a hit here and there. It will raise your toughness. But um, you don't want to get too much and go down, especially with nobody to help you. This guy just took an arrow to the head and he's still going. Uh, to be fair, it looks like it just missed his brain, maybe, by a, a hair. Alright, got another hit in. The nice thing about Starving Bandits is their attacks are not incredibly deadly, so it is you know, pretty safe to practice combat with them. As long as you don't get knocked out. Getting quite a bit of uh, XP here doing uh, crossbow combat. My crossbow skill is going up quite a bit. Come on, tank face. I believe he does reload faster as well once he uh, levels up in crossbow. Ooh, that was close. Dropping these guys like flies. So 
So I think instead of kiting these up to the uh, guards, I'm just going to take most of them out and then fight maybe one or two at a time. I'm going to let him get hit a couple times here. I do need his toughness to go up. His left arm is suffering, though. Don't want him to lose an arm this early. I do plan on him losing his limbs eventually. And we will replace them with robotic super limbs. fight this guy. Turn off ranged and hold, and let's go ahead and enter melee combat. Okay, it's going to improve my defense a little bit. Alright, not too bad. Only gained one or two toughness, but that's better than uh, what we had before. Alright, Let's head back up and look for more enemies. Perfect opportunity. Let's, let's head towards these guys. And they are going to aggro right away, so I'm going to go ahead and go back to ranged. Sorry, buddy, I need my food. And you are a great target practice. Okay, took a little hit to the chest. Waiting for toughness level 10. Okay, got it. Toughness level 10. Let's head in town for a little more safety here. Grab some food on the way. Oh, quite a bit of food. I hope we can make it into our uh, safe zone up here inside the bar there we go and I'm going to turn ranged off so I don't hit anybody by accident and we will fight here hopefully not take too much damage going on out here. Let's come back out here and help these guys.
All right. Got a toughness of 10. KO is negative 17, so that means we can uh, survive even if our health is negative 17 or less. So far, so good. Let's see. What's this guy's health? So I'd like to get you some armor and weapons, but I think we're just going to run out of time today. I would like a home base, um, so maybe we can work on that so we can offload some of this gear for now. Uh, let's go ahead and switch backpacks. I'm not sure if we're going to need metal. Hmm. Ah, let's think about it. Uh, we'll, we'll grab a few. Some electronics. Actually, take that back. We're just going to get a home in town somewhere. So let's forget that. Uh, we're also not going to craft anything. We're going to go straight to the Southern Hive and wipe them out. So let's hold off on that for now. do need to cook. So let's make a camp on the hill up here. We also need a sleeping bag because we are going to be nomadic in this playthrough without uh, a real home base. Alright, now we have plenty of food, and we're going to go rest up at the hub and try and find a few more fights to get into. We are a little bit over encumbered with all the food and supplies we have. Uh, what we might want to do is do a bit of grinding uh, by picking up this body putting our backpack in our inventory and just running for a little bit up and down the, uh, the alley here. And I will skip ahead until our strength is much higher. Alright guys, we just ticked over at a strength of 20 and we just saw some more bandits, so it's time for some training. Let's go ahead and put this guy down. This poor guy has been carried around for a whole day. And we're going to go ahead and attack these guys. And 
Oh, that's right. I do need my backpack equipped so I have access to my arrows. face. Don't wait too long. There we go. Perfect. All right, toughness 11. Slowly climbing the ranks of toughness. And pretty soon we won't have to run so much. Was a lucky shot. We are doing really well just on our own, thanks to the crossbow. Let's just see how we do in a fight here. Let's do some blocking. He's not good at blocking. Okay, well that's not going to work very well. Let's go ahead and do some offense. Oh boy, left arm is badly injured. Let's not lose that left arm. Let's head back inside. And go ahead and start bandaging yourself there, tank face. Do not lose that arm. Okay, taking a few more hits here. Okay, I guess it wasn't necessary. Alright, so we got level 12 toughness. And we are got a dangling arm, so we gotta go make sure that gets repaired before we get into another fight. I think that's a good place to go ahead and wrap it up for today. We are slowly climbing the ranks of toughness, and soon Tank Face will be a force to reckon with. Thanks again for joining me. Hope you enjoyed the content, and I'll see you in the next video. Take care.